now at the river in Selangor. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see it. It's a river. Okay. Right. This is actually one activity which I would really encourage if you ever have a chance to organize for your students. Okay. Why? Because in this activity, number one, you don't need so much equipment. Okay. Uh, make your life easy. Do not find deep rivers, something that's about your knee, depth is good enough, alright? Whereby you get the students to walk against the river flow. In some places it's called river bashing, some called river crossing, whatever name, you can give it your name, it's fine, okay? But honestly, in this activity, get the students to work as a team, and uh, they will really get to need to work together as a team, alright? Minimal equipment, Simple safety, alright, and the learning is there. Okay, so I would really, I would really encourage you um, to try out this activity if you ever have a chance to travel uh, to do river bashing. Alright, as for the learning, okay, is I would say it's quite. Um, that's my student. Educational, okay. Why? Because it symbolizes you working or facing um, the, the challenges in life okay so as you go as, as you grow okay uh, i'm sure you will face so much challenges and this is one activity which you can get the students to reflect about how they actually face against uh, adversity okay to face life challenges what life throw at them okay and no, and for them moving as a team also symbolize them uh, that in our life we need people around us to help to help us when in need okay so try it out once again this is a simple activity uh, it's called river bashing um, yeah okay uh, don't be too worried about the safety in the river you can't really determine where uh, how you want the terrain but roughly you could do the study to find out the river is a deep river or a shallow river okay whether it's a great one or two far doesn't you have to study there okay don't take my word uh, word by word whereby you can do this anywhere no you have to still survey the river so once you find a good spot in the in the long river then you can try this activity okay and uh, coming from Singapore a hot country Having a chance to dip in the pool in this cold river is honestly refreshing. Okay, so uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm now at the quieter part of the river. Uh, but I still got my students uh, still doing the activity. There's one group in front. Okay, and there's one group at the back. So, again, uh, I'm just sharing about this activity as I mentioned earlier. Uh, river bashing is one activity which you can uh, try to organize for students. Uh, coming personally for me, coming from a uh, from a very urbanized country where we don't get natural rivers, we don't get access to natural rivers again nowadays. Um, so this is a good experience uh, which students can uh, experience. Okay. So as a teacher, if you if you can ever get your students to try this activity, please do so. Okay, um, yeah. So moving on uh, to the next point. Uh, sorry, revisiting one point which I shared earlier about safety. Um, you have to analyze the river. Uh, typically, a river which is about your your, your knee depth. Okay, where you don't get uh, big rapids, is safe for the students to 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 bash against the water. Okay. Um, but you really must brief the students about safety uh, whereby they have to be really uh, cautious about, the, about the, what they're doing in the river uh, they have not basic pointers like not playing a fool in the river not pushing their friends okay or swimming around that's a no-no okay just get make sure that they're always on their feet okay and that should be safe enough okay um, you can choose to decide whether you want them to to walk uh, by themselves or you want them to be holding on to a rope okay that is all uh, part and parcel of presentation 
or activity facilitation. So that one you can decide on uh, the intensity of the activity. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, why once again I like this activity is because number one, you get the students to be really in a natural environment. Okay? Uh, yeah. You, what, when you say natural, you can't really plan the, the river. Okay? There'll be a places where it's slightly deep, some a bit rocky, some a bit shallow. So they have to plan, uh, yeah, they, they have to plan their, their move in the river. Okay? Uh, whereas compared to walking on a road where everything is all straight, okay, in the river there's a lot of uncertainties. Okay? The second reason why I like this activity is because uh, you don't need such advanced equipment, okay, especially when you're, when you're trading on a very uh, shallow river like this, okay, which is very safe. You don't need such uh, advanced equipment to take up the students. Alright? Uh, and number three, number three, most importantly, in our education, you want to get the peak level of education. Okay? You want the activity to be as educational as you can be. Okay? So, this activity, you can debrief from many angles to cover about um, facing adversity, working as a team, alright? And uh, facing, facing the unknown. Okay, there's so many things that we can talk about from this simple activity. Okay? So, have a good time uh, planning your activities for the students. Okay? Yeah, and I, and I really hope we get to share uh, as much activity uh, that we can do for our students in the outdoors. Okay? So, signing off from Ahmad. Okay? Bye-bye. Uh, have fun out there. Okay, bye-bye.